Hi, all my friends and family out there on YouTube, which all of you are my friends. I wanted to make a video for you about why I have no fear of death. Um, I've noticed a lot of people, especially some of the older people on my YouTube channel, talk about, I mean, that they're grateful to be alive, which I understand that completely. Um, but also, you know, I, I pick up on or hear people talking about their fear of dying. Well, I don't have that fear anymore. Maybe the act of dying, but that's only temporary, but actually death itself. This is a sensitive subject. So if it's something that bothers you, don't let it because... We are infinite beings. We are made of energy. Energy never dies. We come here for a purpose. And when we serve our purpose, or I believe that we kind of chart out our lives before. This isn't about who believes what, you know, according to the Bible and Jesus. I do believe in God. I do pray. But this is more my spiritual beliefs on what I've experienced. When I was a little girl, like five years old, six years old, I remember being terrified thinking about dying. And I felt like I was born into this world grieving for home that I came from, which sounds bizarre, but there was no reason for me to have this grief. And I've always known that I've going, I, <laughs> I've always known that I have, I can't talk tonight. I've always known that I'm, I'm going to live a shorter life. And I don't talk about this much. A lot of my friends or family in my real everyday life may not even know this, but I have a I know most of you probably know I have a rare genetic condition and it's different that every person that has it, it affects my adrenal glands, which are glands that are on top of your kidneys that control a lot. It affects my thyroid. It affects my pituitary gland in my brain. Um, it affects my vision. It affects um, amino acid. Um, I'm not able to break a lot of those down. And those are essential for a healthy life. You can't take supplements. You get that from food. And I can't break some of them down. So I have chronic fatigue. Um, I have chronic pain. It comes and goes. But there's some days I wake up and I just... You know, I have, and there's a lot of people I know that have a lot of suffering. So I'm tired. I'm 39 years old and half of the people that have this disorder don't live to be older than 50 years old. 50% of the people don't live to be more than 50 years old. So I have a four-year-old son. Today, well, yesterday was his birthday, and he turned four. He was not planned. He's a miracle baby. I was not able to have more children and um, TMI, but this is a very personal video. And I was on birth control, too, so um, I wasn't expecting for that to happen. I have a child that's 10 years older than him. Both are boys, so they're not as affected by this disorder, but they are both carriers of it. So if they ever want to have children, they really need to have genetic testing with the, hopefully their wife. Hopefully they do things better than their mama did. Hey, I did get married with my first child um, before we were pregnant, but being scared of death is something that so many people have already gone through and it's inevitable. 
I'm I'm really trying to soothe you. I'm not trying to be upsetting. It's the only thing we know for sure. And we have to leave things in God's hands. Yes, I worry about my sons. I worry about my youngest because his dad passed away last year. And, you know, he had Crohn's disease very bad. He was overweight um, from a lot of the medications, the thyroid, high blood pressure. And a lot of those things is, are what led him to drug addiction. And then he tried to get clean from that several times. But and his body was too weak and his organs shut down basically they ruled a heart attack but it was basically from just his body was tired and he was 33 years old after he passed away I have felt his presence whenever I came back which I'm in the room right now that he passed away in it does not it brings me comfort it does not make me sad anymore I have my moments, of course, but when I came back into this room by myself after he passed away, I stayed with my parents for a few days. I came back into this room and I felt him, as crazy as it sounds, put his arms around me. I felt him hug me and I could smell him. And... I knew it was him without a doubt. And the comfort that that brought me, he showed me so many signs. We were soulmates. We didn't have, we had a tumultuous relationship. We didn't, we couldn't get it right, especially the last two years of it. Um, the first year, I think after my son was born, my health got worse and then his did too. And then the stress from, you know, having a baby as well. Um, but he has shown me so many signs. We were so close. We were best friends. We talked every day. People don't all know the whole story because that's what happens when there's drug addiction. Stories get told wrong. Things get misconstrued. Um, you know, I do take responsibility and you know, the tumultuous relationship, it was both of us, but we loved each other dearly. And we always said we would contact each other however we could. We didn't know how it was going to work, but he has shown so many signs to me that I am just not fearful. I've dreamt about him. Uh, two weeks, I went to a chaplain who's from South Africa when I was working at the hospital. We prayed for his soul, we prayed for, you know, so much for an hour we prayed. And that night, I think my grief was able to be at a low enough point that he was able to come through to me in my dream. And they say that people who pass over usually don't speak to you in the dream. If you have like a bad dream about them and they're speaking badly, that's usually not tr a true experience because they, they have trouble speaking from a different dimension, frequency, heaven, however it works. He made me feel like we're all one. We're all one. Like we all together make up God and God is us. Like I can't explain to you. I don't think our human minds can possibly relate or understand what I'm trying to say because I don't, but he gives me comfort still, even though he's not here. And my son was two, getting ready to turn three and he was dreaming about him and he would laugh in his sleep, just like when his dad would tickle him. And, you know, I'll, I'll be driving in the car and I'll just smell his cologne and, um, I do have pictures, but I, I go out to the cemetery at least once every few weeks and make sure everything's okay or redecorate his grave. Um, he was cremated, but they did bury half of his ashes out there. 
and they did give him a headstone that's very nice um but i took a picture just it's beautiful out there but i just i like to take pictures i took a picture of the sky you can see like a pink shadow coming down from up above the clouds hitting the clouds and the sun wasn't right in that picture and in the clouds there is a small round perfectly round green orb i put it on positive and negative like on my camera usually things will turn black and white this turned like it was pure energy this turned red whenever i would do that green and red i'll have to get those pictures on here so i can show you and figure out how to add to my video i'm still doing the process my third month on here um i took another picture and i couldn't see this with my naked eye and took another picture of the grave because i usually would after we decorated it and that green orb there was nothing uh no lights he had two solar lights, but they were on the ends, and there was nothing reflective that would have shown right in front of his gravestone. There is a green round orb, exactly the same that was in the clouds. The sun was not shining on the gravestone. It was getting dark outside, and I did the same with, you know, the adjustments on your phone, how you can... Um, make them different like black and white or I did the negative and it showed it was red everything else I've never seen that before in my life I feel like that was his life source his energy his soul and they're able to at times come to us but they have a spiritual journey that they have to go on too that's why after so much time I think we stop seeing so many signs, but they want us to be okay. And they want us to know that they go on after. Um, we had a special, um, a special silly inside joke about grasshoppers for like over a month. And I know I, this may be redundant. I may have said this in my video at the three months ago, but you may not have seen that. Um, we had a thing with grasshoppers and there was a grasshopper that followed me everywhere for a month. Like it usually they'll jump off of you. It, it was on me. Like it was on my, I have pictures of this. It was on my arm. It would crawl on me. We sat down to dinner one night and this really got me. There was a grasshopper sitting at Chad's dinner chair, dinner table chair. It was sitting on his chair and it didn't hop away. It stayed there the whole time with us. Now, how a grasshopper, I'm not saying he's turned into a grasshopper. I'm just saying somehow we're all one and he can communicate with God. And God can give us signs like that, that just no one would believe unless they saw them. I mean, I have actually seen a mist go by and no one was home and I just saw it float by there was no reason for it to be there it was nighttime I was laying on the couch and I could feel this peace and that's how I've gotten through a lot of this is because I know for for a fact in my mind without a shadow of a doubt I know that life goes on after death and we do retain memory somehow some way and I just wanted to let people know like I don't I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me for my condition I hope that I live at least to be 55 because my son would be 20 my youngest but I'm not scared to die and my boyfriend was not scared either. He told me, he said, he got really sick with Crohn's disease at 19 years old. He had to have a couple of intestinal surgeries and he pretty much 
died on the table, I believe, when he had his first surgery because he lost so much blood. He was tired. He told me that if I die, because you, you know I'm not going to live to be an old man, if I die young, make sure you're not sad, but be happy for me because I'm not suffering anymore. So I tried to think of that. But our selfish human minds, of course, we miss our loved ones. But you may not see signs. Like, not everybody can. Like, I, I believe that. Some people are more sensitive. Or if you're so engulfed in your grief, you're not going to be able to. I've always had kind of a sixth sense. Um, my grandma was very clairvoyant. And, which basically means slightly psychic, um, you know, she couldn't win the lottery or anything like that, but it kind of runs in our family. We just have this, uh, the females have more of an intuition than most. Um, and my friends that I do have would attest to that, I, I believe. So I'm just extra special. That's why my eyes change color every day. <laughs> I was sleeping, so I woke up and just felt compelled to make this video. It's a little longer than I usually make, so I hope that you do watch it. I am going to make more about this topic because really my channel was about that. I didn't really want to make videos about, you know, um, some of the things I've made videos on, but it is a vlog. Vlog? It's a vlog. So, um, I do talk about other things as well, but this is something that really just touches me because there is no, there's nothing to fear. Like we leave our bodies and we go to a beautiful place of peace with no pain or suffering. I believe that 100%. I do want to be cremated. I know that, but I have no fear of death. I just don't want to leave my, my children. It's more like um, letting go. That's the hard part. So I hope this helped you in some way. And I'll have more videos. If you have anything that you'd like me to talk about, please put it in the comments below. If you'd like to subscribe um, or like my video, I would really appreciate it. And I hope that all of you um, got some comfort from this video. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope to see all of you soon. Good night.